Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are gonna be testing out what I personally think is the weirdest mascara out there. I have never, in all of my years of like digging through the makeup, finding the weird makeup, I have never seen anything quite like this. This is from Rude Cosmetics and it's a comb twist up mascara that stuff kind of goes through and then to the comb and you comb it on. I think this is gonna be a giant disaster, but I really wanted to try this out on camera. It looked so different and you guys know I see it all and when I see the few items that truly are out there and different and potentially great because you never know like something could be so insanely awesome and it just takes you know trying something new you know like when you try a new food that you think is going to be disgusting you're like wow Brussels sprouts mom you were right no she was wrong I hate Brussels sprouts um but you know what I'm saying like you have to like try you have to try new things so we are gonna try this it is the mighty mascara and comb so but it's really not and comb it's like the mascara literally runs straight through here and then you're supposed to do this business and you're combed and mascaraed and good. Uh, so this does come in three shades, a navy, a brown, and a black. We're gonna try the black out today. And this is $5.50. Everything from Rude Cosmetics tends to be on the very affordable side. They do have some really fun stuff on their site. They are a bit of a knockoff dupe brand, but then they do have these items like this where it's just very different and I'm all about that. So we're gonna give it a good test drive. I also want to play with this palette it right here. Dear Lord, do I lipstick on teeth? I'm very, very self-conscious of that today, you guys, because I never wear actual lipstick anymore. Like I always wear, if I'm doing something darker, I will wear a liquid lip just to make sure that, that doesn't happen. But I found a new combo that I'm loving really quickly, I'll tell you. And then you guys can like make fun of me or whatever in the comment section if I get lipstick on my teeth, it happens, whatever. Um, so I am wearing the Always On Lip Liner in Screen Queen. And then I am wearing from Tarte, this guy right here. This is Berry Mojito. I already have it like swatched up and kind of stained on my hand, but like this is a gorgeous, gorgeous lipstick. Goes on so nice, except for I am worried that I'm gonna get it everywhere. That's the only drawback. And then I'm also wearing Glistening Berry on top from L'Oreal. I thought you guys would wanna know what is on my mouth. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh, it's like just so dimensional and shiny and I absolutely love this combo. I'm just like, please God, don't get all over my face and make me look like a crazy lady. Uh, that would be nice. So uh, yeah, where were we? This right here, I think I'm gonna play with a few of the shades. This is from Private Society Cosmetics. This is the Alter Ego palette. I have not heard much about this brand, but it really drew me in. I got this in PR and I, I don't know, I thought today would be a good day to break it out and try it on with my weird mascara because we're just kind of playing with new makeup. So I'm gonna scoot you guys closer and we are gonna go through the whole day and do that whole thing. I'll check in with you guys and we'll see if it flakes, smudges, all of that. So she's professional, ready. We're doing this. You guys, what do you think of the blazers too? Like I have a closet filled with blazers and I always feel a little bit over the top wearing them in videos. But then recently I was just like, screw that. I'm just gonna look very business profesh while reviewing weird makeup. Anyway, it's my new vibe. Okay, let's move closer and get to application. Okay guys, so for her first trick, she'll try to find her painterly paint pot. I try so hard to be organized and I don't know that I will ever get there. I lose stuff on this vanity every two seconds. We're going in with painterly paint pot. Before we put on the mascara, I really just wanna do something extremely light. And I know I always say that and then I end up with like a smoky <laughs> eye look with glitter or some crap like that. And you guys are like, Tati, nice natural makeup day. You said we were going natural. Um, so, but I really am gonna try to go for a more natural type of a thing. I'm gonna take the shade Athena right here and I'm going to just pat this on the lid. That's pretty pigmented. All right, so now I'm staring at this and I'm like, um, I don't know how I would ever in my right mind do like a natural look with this because this is not a natural palette. And I really wanna focus on showing off the mascara. Let me see, I think they have another palette. Hold on, hold please, I'll be right back. 
much, much better. We're gonna go into the shade Heat. This is blending out really nice, actually. So this is much more cool tone than I normally would start with, but it's nice, it's not bad. Um, I am going to now go into the shade Fetish on a 217 on the flat side. And I'm just going to stamp this all over the lid. They have these like fun kind of glittery bits right in the center. And I think, oh my God, neither one of those are gonna look good with what I'm wearing. I'm gonna go back into the other palette. And I'm just gonna take the shade Cosmo, which is white bright and has a slight iridescence on a wet brush. We are gonna get to the mascara. I know you guys are dying of curiosity. I hate my eye look right now so much. Um, that's not, this is just not a good day for trying that out. I feel really awful about that. Um, I'm just gonna be like basic Tati today and go into my Viseart palette that's right here on my desk, go into these two shades here that are just gonna be easy as can be to press all over the eyelid and still give me enough room to show off the mascara because sadly, I was really excited when I saw those palettes in PR and I wanted to try them out right away. I'm gonna have to play with them a little bit more because Swatch, there are a few shades that are like so gorgeous and I hadn't heard of that brand and I was just like really immediately drawn to it. So while this is not terrible, it's just not the color palette that I wanna go with this lip and the blazer and everything. So we're gonna go in with a little bronze and just kind of cover it all up. And then I'm gonna take the champagne shade and just press it right on the inner portion. Ew, I don't know what is happening. I just don't like what I'm doing today, but that's makeup, you know? I film almost every single day and some days are better than other as far as color choices and all of that. This is just not my day, but I'm not gonna get too carried away because I just, really just wanted to show you guys the freaking mascara. All right, so we're just going to allow Natasha Denona to come in and entirely save the day. So this is from the gold palette. I am taking this shade, Kava, and just doing this. Let's go in and curl our lashes and get to the dang mascara. Okay, that is going to change the look. Mascara will always wake you right up, no matter what your sleep situation is. And let's just hope that this one, even though it has that weird applicator, does something. Oh my God, I need it to do something, you know? Okay, so this guy right here, we're gonna twist up. I have not twisted it all the way up yet. We're doing this together for the first time. Ew, this is gonna ruin my already not cute look. I had to like clear some of it on the back of my hand. I don't know how this is supposed to work. Okay. I'm having like anxiety doing this because I don't wanna get it in my eye. And it's kind of like very, like there's a lot of wetness on here, even though I wiped it on the back of my hand. Um, I can already tell you that this takes a really long time to do. And I'm getting this crap everywhere. Oh my God, why? This is a dang mess. Ah, okay. Oh my God, you guys, this made me really ugly. <laughs> it looks like I've been crying. What the hell? <gasps> it looks like I, does it not look like I've been crying for a really long time? Like, <laughs> and it, the dry down is very crunch, like crunch-tastic. Like it is, this is just not good. Gosh dang it. I was gonna do a full day wear test too. I genuinely thought maybe the combs on this would give like a nice separation, but I just, I don't think there's much of a way. I mean, I guess you can kind of like clean it off and then maybe, I don't know, maybe like 
Yikes. I'm gonna try and clean up the lid. Just kind of try to scratch off some of that dried down mascara and then I'll go over it with more shadow. Dude, this is just not my day for makeup, right? Oh, don't you hate that when like everything with your makeup goes bad? Who has had that day where you like struggle with your brows and your lipstick goes on weird and then you get mascara in your eye and then like it's just like one thing after another? Oh my gosh, I'm like snowballing. So I just gave it one little twist up so there's not a lot of product in here. And I'm gonna try now to go in and add a little more. Oh my gosh, title of the video, Tati struggles with mascara for 10 minutes straight. Okay, I need to know from you guys in the comments below. Are there any of you out there who have tried this that love this product? Am I doing it wrong? Feel free to critique me. I read everything I could online. I feel like I tried it like five different ways and this is just honestly horrible. Like horrible, worse than I thought. I thought maybe it would just give like a very, I don't know, natural, like maybe too kind of natural, wispy, comb through type of a thing. I did not expect it to get everywhere and to be so irritating and hard to apply. And I pretty much feel like I have just completely like jacked up my makeup for the rest of the day. Ugh. Um, so let me know. Have you tried this? Do you think this looks great? <laughs> Do some of you are, some of you are like, Tati, you're dramatic. It looks beautiful. Um, you can leave that too. I think it looks bad, but maybe that's just me. Just like leave that in the comments below. Um, let me try to get some of this out of my eyes and we will resume. Here we are guys. This is the completed look. I want to go wash my face. My eyes are actually very irritated and I'm not being dramatic about that. Like usually when I'm reviewing stuff, I get it. I tend to be a little dramatic just because that's my personality and I I have to like give the pros and cons and make it, I don't know, entertaining for myself as I'm sitting here talking to a camera by myself, which honestly is like the weirdest job ever. But uh, yeah, you guys, this is no good. This is really irritating my eyes. It's flaked all over the face. It's clumped and it's in like, it's like rock hard. It's the weirdest thing ever. This formula is bizarre. You know, when I was kind of wiping the brush off on the back of my hand, it hardened up really, really fast and was almost uncomfortable even on my hand. So I don't know, I'm not feeling this at all. I'm gonna go remove my eye makeup and start again. So that's my day exploring new weird products. I hope that if you have seen this online, this just kind of, you know, ended the curiosity and showed you the product in action. I know I was super curious. So I imagine that you guys would wanna see something like this in action. And then now we can just move forward and never talk about it again. All right, there we have it. This is a no, so far away from A+, this flunked. I do not like it a bit. Scrap in the wear test. I do wanna do one of those soon where I take you guys through the day. I haven't done that in a minute, so if there's new foundations or products that you wanna see worn all day long, please leave comments below and requests. I love hearing from you guys. And if you have not yet taken a moment to subscribe to my channel, then please do. Not every product ends like this. Sometimes we find the best stuff ever, just not today. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. Ring the bell so that you're notified of my future uploads. I'm here Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. PST. And if you're feeling extra generous, generous, if you're, ge oh my God, this is my day. <sighs> if you feel bad for me, then like the video because my eyes would appreciate at least a thumbs up, okay? That's all I'm saying. All right, I gotta go. I love you guys so much. Thank you for spending time with me and hanging out. I appreciate it as always. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah.